Whoa, this new Chang skin makes her even better. Okay, maybe not, but if you can brainwash yourself that this skin actually makes the hero stronger, then there's the possibility that you might perform better. You know, the placebo effect. Anyway, regardless if it's true or not, it doesn't change the fact that Chang'e is still a really great support mage hero. In this game, this Lolita is quite the fan, and when she said that she's on a losing streak, it forced me to focus a bit harder, because you know, I cannot let her down. Smash them. Enemy deployed. With the amount of shield I got from the second skill and Lolita's passive, I can play extremely aggressive in the early game and harass the enemies as much as I want. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by their skills. I'm trying to force their tank to go back to base or die trying to protect their buff. I just need one more minion to gain level 2, so I decided to go to a lane and just gain the experience, and then resume my aggressive playstyle. Kufra is also good at sidestepping. Nowadays the fight between the supports and the tanks, screw the junglers. They think they can recall right in front of our faces. Rookie mistake. Remember, always try to annoy the enemy as much as possible. This Lolita is definitely an active viewer, she also likes to annoy the enemy non-stop. Good work. Of course Lancelot will try to go for me first, but little did he know, I mastered the secret technique, godly sidestep no jutsu. Poor Hellcourt, we are just too busy taking down the turret. Look who is back for round 2. By the way, in case you might think these are a bunch of inexperienced players, they are actually mythical glory players, it's just that the ultimate secret technique is too effective.
Here, I'm moving towards the right side because it gives me vision of the bush so I can see when they're coming and don't get a surprise ambush by them. Since we have the advantage, we should definitely keep putting pressure on the enemies and don't let them farm comfortably. At this point, I'm not afraid of Lancelot anymore. This Lolita is about to use her super technique, Flying Hammer no Jutsu. That was very impressive. Lolita didn't bother stunning Kufra because she thought we couldn't kill the tank, but she underestimated Chango's insane damage. What is so great about Chang'u is that she can deal so much damage from a very safe distance. Just gotta make sure you are not in the enemy line of fire. Once you see that you are quite exposed, reposition yourself. Remember, even though she deals a lot of damage, she is still quite squishy if they manage to stun you. Ok, now that the enemies are distracted with you son, it's time to go back and provide assistance. For some reason, I have a hard time noticing Cecilion's second skill. Lancelot is trying to be sneaky once again. I am moving towards the top lane where my allies are. Just look at the amount of shield I got. At this point, I'm almost like Esmeralda. Yup, a new Cecilion second skill will be my doom. Oh, 
Lanzo is ready for a third round. The middle turret has very low HP, so if somebody can just tank it, I can definitely destroy it with just a couple of basic attacks. Now I just need to make sure I don't get soaked in by Sicilian's second skill, and we'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing or else you won't be able to master any of these secret super jutsus. Thanks.